first started out with Apollo, we were learning how to, how to get it. And eventually went from three buses to 10 buses to 20 buses to, to 90 buses. And they really came up and helped us. We got first-hand service and we got more buses and we got more cameras. But now we decided pulling hard drives, they drop, they fall, they break, you lose the data. We want to do this wirelessly. We want to download these videos. So we talked back to the Apollo and says, hey, we got a, we got a solution for it. We can fix this up. And the guys came up again. They helped us with the software. We were able to wirelessly download the video before it would take us close to two hours. We think of going out to the bus, pulling the video, capturing the hard drive, putting the hard drive back, hooking it up to the software, putting the wires into the computer, putting it all back together. It's a real waste of the time. Now I can request the video in about 30 seconds. Can't ask for much better than that. We have probably caught 35, 40 people over the last eight years who have stolen something. They've stolen a laptop, they've stolen a backpack. We watch the video, we take a screenshot of it, we share it with law enforcement. That person's not gonna be doing it again. Back in 2008, we thought the quality was great. But if I look back on some of those older buses, the difference is night and day. It's like my own Betamax and watching something on Blu-ray. There's a big improvement and it makes a huge difference. We're able to identify license plates. With an HD camera, you get a much better shot of the person's face and able to identify them. A number of times we've had people call us and say, hey, you know, I fell on your bus. And they'll tell us that they fell when no one was there. So we'll request the video we'll use in the software. It comes up and we look at it and this one particular issue, the person was sitting in the seat and they reached and they reached and they reached to, drive a, to grab a schedule on the bus all alone. And they reached so far that they fell. The bus was stopped. It was dry. There's no one else on there. We're not liable, but they were trying to make us liable. So it really does help us. You know, we're a smaller transit agency. We have got about 100 buses. That means we have 100 mobile computers. That means we have about 800 mobile cameras. You have to have a system to maintain that. You can't just think, oh, when one breaks, we're gonna call Apollo. You need to work with your vendor, have them set up a schedule, have them have a suggested parts list. How many spare cameras do you need? How many spare DVRs do you need? To make sure that your technicians are trained to do a hot swap. The mechanics use the system to check to see if it's working. So it's no delay, no pulling of hard drives. It's super lickety split.